the weather warming up for you. This cocktail is going to be just what the doctor ordered. It's called the Tropical Spritz. It's a bourbon cocktail, but it's not too heavy, and it's very tiki. Check it out. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Utah Spirit Trail Cocktail Videos. My name is Charles, and tonight's cocktail is called the Tropical Spritz, and it features Eight Settlers Distillery. Now, Eight Settlers was founded back in 2020. It was just pre-COVID. If you can remember back that far, we all had lives. Well, now they are in the full swing. They're open. Obviously, they've been open since 2020, but you know they've got a beautiful restaurant. I've talked about them a bunch in many cocktail videos. I'm sure you go back and check them out. Um, this one is the Devil's Gate Bourbon. Don't let the name scare you. It's a really good whiskey. And you can find it at 20 of the DABS locations and obviously up at the distillery. So if you feel like going up to the distillery for a meal at their fantastic restaurant to peruse their retail space, so they've got all of their spirits and some really cool stuff that I've also highlighted in many of the videos. One in particular, we did a smoked old fashioned with their smoking kit that they've got. And yeah, it's really cool. So check that out in another video. So again, if you want to check them out, they're at 7321 Canyon Center Parkway up in Cottonwood Heights. I know they'd love to see you. And hey, go up there, tell them I sent you. Let's get started on the cocktail. We are going to use an ounce and a half of the bourbon. Cool guy cocktail jigger that I got a boost geek down in Salt Lake. I've probably not mentioned them before. Here it goes an ounce and a half. We need one ounce of Amaro Anino. I think that's how you say it. There is a local distiller here in Utah that makes fantastic Amaros. And we're going to use one of hits. And again, one ounce. Wow. It smells so good. The guy down there is a creative genius, so he makes all kinds of Amaros and just everything he touches is excellent. So now we need half an ounce of pineapple juice and half an ounce of lemon juice. We're gonna use some fresh squeezed pineapple. It's probably fresh squeezed and then put into a can. You don't know. So half an ounce. Oh, part of that went right on the counter. And then half an ounce of lemon juice. We're gonna use some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Just one out. A good friend of mine tell me to start cutting the tip off of the lemon. Oh man, and it works a lot better in the. Lemon juicers. I don't know why it had to take me so long to figure that one out, but my goodness. It makes all the difference in the world. So half an ounce. Handy dandy cut cone items. Those things cut so nice. Not a sponsor. Which can be. We need half an ounce of simple syrup.
and three dashes of Angostura bitters. And five pineapple chunks to mellow in the bottom. Just want to muddle it until the pineapple is good mashed. Not so much so that it looks like baby food, but you know, just mashed up. Kind of like you tortured it a little bit. Then we need some ice and we're going to shake 10 15 seconds. One of the cubes landed in my foot and now it's very really cold. Okay, good indication is the kind of the fogging of the shaking tin. And we will need to double strain this one because of all the pineapple mess in there. We're gonna fill this up about three quarters of the way because the recipe calls for sparkling wine, but I'm gonna use Prosecco. about right. And again, we're just going to top it just like that. Oh, that looks and smells fantastic. For garnish, we are going to use a chunk of pineapple with a cherry on top. I have these beautiful Luxardo cherries. They taste so good. There you go. Tropical spritz. Give it a shot, shall we? So just the presentation is beautiful. The coloring is gorgeous. And the scent, you can, the Prosecco really makes the, the scent pop out of there, the pineapple. And it almost smells chocolatey, which is weird because there's no chocolate in there. Very tropical. You can give it a taste. Oh, that is. Wow. That is delightful. Mm. So the bourbon is just did not sink away in the background at all. It is very present in a good way. So the caramel and the vanilla notes are still there. But the Prosecco really made a kind of an interesting combination. It's, it's a very unique cocktail. Mangostura bitters, you can kind of taste. This cocktail isn't terribly sweet. I think the, again, the Prosecco, more of a dry cocktail. So this is a, a perfect summer tiki-esque kind of cocktail. I really, really like that. I think you're going to love this one. Uh, again, it's, it's kind of perfectly rounded. If you're not a sweet cocktail person, perfect cocktail. If you are a sweet cocktail person, perfect cocktail. It just hits dead center of that spectrum, I think. It's really quite a tasty beverage. But again, if you want the Eight Settlers Devil's Gate bourbon, you can head over to one of the 20 different DBS locations. And if they don't have it at your DBS location, make sure you let them know that you would like to see more local products available in your favorite location. 
You can also go up to the distillery. It's an amazing distillery. They're everything from their motif, just the design of the distillery. They have a beautiful patio area up top so you can, from Cottonwood Heights, you can look down over Salt Lake Valley. It's just, it's gorgeous. And they have a legit bar license so and some fantastic big bartenders that can make some amazing cocktails. So definitely go up, give it a shot. Dan, tell them, tell them Chuck sent you. That'd be nice for both of us. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And here's to hoping this day found you in good spirits with good spirits. Cheers. Mmm. That's so good. Tangy. Bright. Pampily. Thanks again for watching.